So we're going to think about why we have this trend in reactivity. Now I've just shown the atoms. I know that in the equations there should have the diatomic and the molecules, but we're just going to worry about the atoms at the moment. Fluorine has got um, nine protons. So I'll just put nine protons there. Chlorine has got 17 protons. What is actually happening? Chlorine is becoming chloride. So it is gaining an electron. An electron is coming in and being gained in both of these. Chlorine becomes fluoride. Chlorine becomes chloride. They get put out to shells. If reactivity is decreasing down the group, it's easier for fluorine to do that than chlorine to do that. Why do you think it's easier for fluorine to capture this electron than it is for chlorine? Fewer shells for fluorine, so less shielding. Yeah. So although my nuclear charge for chlorine is higher, there are more shells. What other things do we need to consider? We need to consider protons, atomic shells, atomic radius. Brilliant. Atomic radius fluorine is going to be smaller than chlorine. So it is easier for fluorine to capture an electron than chlorine because although he's got more protons, he's got fewer shells, less shielding, and there's a smaller atom as well. So we just write that down. Um, we say reactivity decreases down the group. And again, this comes up a lot. Because it is harder to gain an electron. Therefore, it is less attractive. 